is that? Is that the core five roughing that I hear? Woo, let's check out the Blazo barrels with the chips. Boom, boom, boom. The DNM 5700L and my boy Stuart on the machine. Woo, I am so excited today because guess what? We're doing a special project and we're cutting some chips right now, all right? So a lot of you guys saw we moved to Texas, right? Got this amazing building. We built a conference room and then I went out to actually find the perfect conference table and to everybody out there that actually responded that was actually gonna build us conference tables. Like humbly, I just wanna say thank you so much, right? But uh, after looking at everything and, and thinking we have a machine shop, somebody actually in the comments said, Titan, you have a machine shop, why don't you make your own? And I thought, you know what, why don't we make our own? So I got with Billy Boyce, I got with Stuart, Jacob, boom, the team, and we came up with an amazing design and then I ordered material and now we're making our own table. Now, let, let, let me go show you what's up, all right? Woo! That's that Core 5. Core 5 from Kenna Metal, getting after it right there. Big old one inch diameter in the 5700L. You know, my wife wasn't like too fond of it, but like, I think like, isn't that like the best like lullaby right there? Like, I just love that music right there. So the table is 50 inches wide, it's 14 feet long, and the entire base is machined. And since we have a crazy reputation in the aerospace industry, I thought, you know what, let's actually add some aerospace into those legs right there, and uh, this is what we came up with. Woo! Nice, beautiful honeycomb. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, Stuart, can you come over here for a quick second? You good? Yeah. yeah. Oh. My man Stuart, he is uh, holding some crazy tolerances, beautiful surface finishes. Boom. Got that ISO grid look to it. Ooh. You want to tell them what we yeah. got going on? No, this is a really cool part. The leg is an identical piece on one side and on the other. So we're going to make 16 legs that will ultimately be eight. It goes through and this end actually slides into our next part. And this will be the first operation. We're then gonna flip it over and cut this same shape on the back. If we're gonna make something really cool and we're gonna put it in our shop, why not actually machine it, put it on camera, show you the tools that we're using, show you the depths of cuts, the, the radial, the axial, the surface with the chip load, the tool, the holder, just give you guys all that information so you can duplicate the process and make similar parts, huh? Yeah. Killing it. Killing that it. noise right there. Boom. All right, so like, never thought in the history of the world I was gonna be like a hand model, but like, hey, like Vanna White, like let me like, let me like show you the magic right here. Beautiful parts right here. Boom, crazy surface finishes, looking beautiful. Stuart, great job and the raw material right here. That's the beauty. I'm like a little kid in a candy store right now. You know, it's like you take raw material, you put it into a machine, you eat that metal, you leave it in chips, taking something from nothing, making something of value. Manufacturing, man, gotta love it. Right now, we're actually seeing the Mastercam OptiRough toolpath with our one inch Kenna Metal Core 5. This is taking a huge cut with the one inch end mill. The cool thing is we're roughing and finishing with the Core 5, which a lot of people don't really get, is that the Core 5 does amazing for roughing out the part and finishing. So after I rough it, I'm then gonna come back with a 3 8 Core 5, and I'm going to then cut all of these pockets out I'm also gonna use the same core five to go in and finish those pockets. Once that's done, I can then call up my chamfer tool, put in these big chamfers, and then chamfer all of these pockets to get that beautiful finish. Oh, what's up, Jacob? What's up, Dian? Boom. Look at this, we were just over on the DNM and now we're on the Tormach, the 1100 
MX. And uh, what you got here, man? Clamp body for our table. Clamp body for our table. So when you actually look at the design, you're gonna see the legs come out, boom, kind of like an X, right? Four legs equals an X. There's a center body that we're gonna actually do on the DVF 5000. And this is a clamp body. And then you got half 13s coming from the bottom, locking everything in place. Crazy rigidity, crazy yeah. table, <laughs> making it happen. I'll be holding it together. That's the quality <laughs> check right there. Make sure we got rigidity. So as the process develops and we get further down the road, we'll make some more videos and show you the different parts as they come together. Speed, speeds, tooling, all of it. And then show you the finished product, our table in that conference room. CNC machine right here in Flower Mound, Texas, baby. <laughs> Boom. Boom. See you later, brother. See ya.